blessed afternoon to you all. Hallelujah. Happy New Year once again. Happy New Year to you. Hallelujah. We are, we are here again. It's another glorious day. It's another marvelous day. It's another joyful day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. The Lord has given us this privilege to be here again. The Lord has crossed us over to New Year. We are still celebrating the New Year. We are still celebrating it to God be the glory for giving us reason to celebrate, uh, for giving us reason to be in uh, this new year, to begin the new year, the new month, the new week. So to God, the Lord be all the glory. Hallelujah. I just want to congratulate you all again. Uh, we make it. Uh, we make it. Glory be to the Lord. Uh, we make it not because we merit it, not because we deserve it, but uh, because the Lord uh, make it to be so. So to him be all the glory. That is why we need to magnify God. We need to exalt God. We need to thank God uh, for the gift of life. I never stop thanking God for the gift of life. Uh, him alone is him alone. Him alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. I am here again to encourage us with the word of God. Uh, I am here to, again to bless us. Uh, like I keep on saying, that is all we need in a time like this. Uh, we need the word of God every day. We need the word of God in our daily lives. We need the word of God in our homes, in our marriage. Uh, in bringing up our children, we need the word of God. Uh, in every day of our lives, we, live, we, need, we need the word of God. Uh, because by the time you are rooted, uh, by the time you are built in the word of God, uh, there's no way you can go astray. Uh, hallelujah. That is why we need the word of God. Just like we need our daily food uh, to grow. We need the word of God to grow as well. Hallelujah. I am here again to bless us with the word of God. Uh, the word that I tie to now. Let God guide you. Hallelujah. We just begin a new year. We just begin a new month. Uh, we just begin a new week. Uh, hallelujah. Let God guide us in this new year. Because by the time the Lord guides you, you're secure. You are sure you will not miss it. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Glorious and everlasting Father, Lord, I worship you and I exalt you. I adore you for a time like this, O oh God. I give you the glory for the privilege that you give to us, O oh God. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted. Lord, I'm here to give your word again. I ask that you speak through me again. Let this word that will come forth from me again today be a blessing to us, many that will listen to it. In the name of Jesus, uh, for the Lord, let this word bring a transformation, oh God, uh, in the life of us, many that will listen to it. Oh God, I ask, uh, give them a listening he is to listen to your word. Uh, give them an open heart to receive your word, oh Lord. Uh, and the word I comfort may each not be stolen away from then uh, may produce good fruit to God uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, uh, I ask for your revelation. May you reveal, uh, may you give them the revelation of your word, oh God, uh, that they will be able to comprehend it because no one can no comprehend your word without revelation, oh God, uh, so that they can be able to comprehend your word and not be lost uh, in the name of Jesus. I surrender again this hour that you take over me, Holy Spirit. Uh, in Jesus' glorious name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Like I said, I title my message. I title my message, Let God Guide You. Or Guided by God. Hallelujah. Let God guide you. Now, as you begin the year, it is still fresh. It's just flesh. It's just flesh. We are still new now in the new year. It's just, you know, many could not believe that they are just begin 2023. Many could not believe that they are in the 2023 already. It's still flesh. We are still, I mean, I've not finished eating my new year rice. You know? So we are still celebrating now. Now that it's flesh, it's still fresh. 
let God lead you now in this new era that we are now, in this new year that we just tap into now. Let God lead you now because by the time God leads you now, you have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, listen now, by the time God leads you now, ah, you there will be a lot of mountain on the world. Listen, when I'm saying let God lead you, it does not mean there's not going to be trial, it does not mean there's not going to be difficulties because that is where people miss it. You say, ah, when you come to God, uh, everything will just be sweet, uh, everything will just be on bread and honey. There's no trial, and when trial begins to come, people begin to fall away. Listen, uh, when God lays, uh, there might be trial, there might be difficulties, uh, there might be there, there might be many things that could be in an hindrance on the way. But by the time these things are there, uh, and God is laid in you now. Uh, you have nothing to be afraid of. You know why? Because the one that is laid in you now, we do, the Bible says, is a greater than the greatest. He is the one that creates all things. So the trial that you will you will you will you will you will, you will, you will see another way now. The trial that you will the, the trial and the difficulties uh, you might meet on the way now. He creates them. Uh, they are under him. Hallelujah. And nothing that is under God can control God. Uh, nothing that is under him can rule over him uh, because he's the one that creates all things. Uh, and by the time you allow him to guide you now, uh, those things are bound. You might come across them, but you have nothing to be afraid of because you know the one that is watching your back is greater than the greater. The one that is watching over you now is mightier than the mightiest. The one that has laid in you now is stronger than the stronger. And if you know this, then what is it that you should be afraid of? Hallelujah. By the time the Lord leads you, by the time the Lord guides you, by the time you allow him, listen, God wants to guide us. As a father guiding the children in the right way, I am a mother. When my children are going astray, they are doing things that is not supposed. I guide them. Why am I guiding them? To give them the best. Hallelujah. But God wants to guide every one of us. But it depends on us if we want him to guide us. By the time you allow him to guide you now, you are secured. Even in the storm, uh, the, the, the Bible told us uh, in the story of the builders, uh, he told us, say, those who build on the rock, storms may come. What does that mean? Trials will come. Rain will beat on the earth. Uh, difficult will come. Uh, but even when they come, behind the, the earth will still stand. Why? Because it is being built on the rock. But by the time God is not leading you, now this is a difference between when God guides you now and when you are being guided by men. And this is a difference. The way God guides you, try a come, storms come, difficulties come, you will still stand, you will not fall because God is guiding you. But when may guide you, try as come. A little trial you will fall. A little difficulties you will fall. Because those men cannot guarantee your security. When they see three day, for example, a man is guiding you and he see a lion coming your ways. Both of you are walking, lion coming. He go wrong, push you go for thing go wrong. <laughs> Who won't die? Nobody wants to die. So that is how it is when may guide you. I remember when I was standing in the world, uh, I keep hearing this saying, uh, you know, this saying in my language. Uh, he said that uh, I'll translate uh, this one I will translate it in a, in a, in English. So don't be don't just be um, waste your time in looking for it for Google. I will translate it. Then uga baso boa uga ona mama woya omoji. This was the saying I was hearing when I was in the war. What does it mean? He said, if you leave leave a native daughter, maybe you were married to a native daughter before. You want to leave the native daughter. You want your day to be long. You go marry thief because thief strong bad native daughter. Then if you leave thief. Eh? Now you are you are with thief, and you leave thief. You want your day to be long. You will go marry native daughter, because those are the two people that they they recognize and the world that they are stronger. Because if you leave native daughter, go marry thief. The thief will protect you. 
If you leave Tiff, go marry native doctor, he go protect you. Why? Because they are the, this one is stronger than this one. This one is stronger than this one in their own way. The same thing. Uh, if you want to be secure, you want to have safely, you go to the stronger one. I say, when two power me that uh, the lesser power we bow, and the every power we bow before my God. He said, by the name of Jesus, every tongue confess and every nature about no power on earth. I have not seen. I have searched. I am still searching. I have not seen power that is greater than my power. You can make sure that you can name them. Listen, there is no power greater than my, my, the power of my God. Then because you know that there is no power, even the unbelievers, they know that there is no greater power than the power of God. Then if you want uh, to have it this year, uh, you want this year to be a year of fulfillment, uh, a year that you experience the faithfulness of God uh, in all way around, uh, a year that when others are crying, you're smiling, uh, then you allow God to guide you. Uh, hallelujah. Time is not on my side. Maybe I can be going to make part one and part two of this of this message hallelujah let's quickly say the book of uh, psalm 37 i read verse 22 now verse uh, 20 no verse psalm 37 verse 23 and 24 psalm 37 hallelujah psalm 37 verse 23 and 24 hallelujah Hallelujah. 23 and 24 C says, Hallelujah. He said, Those, the Lord, 23, the Lord makes fame the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholding with his saints. Hallelujah. By the time the Lord guides you, you might stumble. That is what I said at the beginning. You might stumble, but you will never fall. You know why? God will not allow you to stop, to, to, to fall, because he is by your side. That is why for you to allow God to guide you, you need to trust in the Lord. For you to allow God to trust, to, to guide you now. He said, those, though he may stumble now, though you may stumble now, the Lord will not allow you to fall. I have never seen anyone that trusts in the Lord uh, that is being disappointed. Uh, God will not allow you to be disappointed. He will not allow you to be put to shame. Uh, by the time you put your trust in God, uh, putting your trust in the Lord means you allow God to guide you now. Putting your trust in the Lord means uh, you allow God to have his way in your life. Uh, trusting on the Lord means uh, you are you give him the space in your life. Lord, take control over everything that concerns me. Uh, hallelujah. Putting your trust in the Lord uh, that whether good or bad, uh, I am trusting on the Lord. Uh, let God guide you means that you seek God uh, before you do. Before you take any step, you seek God. Before you make any move, you seek God. Before any plan, you seek God. Everything about you should be about God. Your plan should let God take. Your plan should go aligned with the. It should go in line with the things of God. Align God to guide you means you surrender to His will. It means that as a Lord. I surrender. There's a song I love so much in Italian. In your ask Soleimani, I raise my hand. Raising your hand means it's a sign of Lord. I surrender to you. Your will, Lord, let it be done. Allow God to guide you, mean. You entrust everything that concerns you to Him. You entrusting everything to him means that uh, you no longer care about those things. Uh, you allow him to do the thinking for you. You allow him to do the, 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 the plan for you. You allow him to make e do everything. You allow God uh, in every space in your life. Not giving God uh, 
five minutes of your life, uh, small space in your life. Uh, that is not how you allow God to guide you. Now, uh, allowing God to guide you means uh, in everything you go to Him. Uh, you know that uh, you do it first before you go to God. No, you go to God before you do. Like the story of David, we know now uh, when that the situation David was, uh, every one of us we could have acted before we go to God. You know, before he comes, they 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 they, they, they seized everything that it was that they was in the land. Uh, let's see the book of First Sam. Time is not on my side. I will read this one. I will stop because of time, and I will continue from there next week by the grace of God. By the grace of God, uh, Hallelujah. First Sam, First Samuel, sorry, First Samuel, chapter thirty, verse eight. I'm not going to read the story, the whole story. First Samuel, if you want to know the story. You can read it on your own first somewhere. 30. I'm just going to read verse, verse 8. Hallelujah. And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I pursue this ready party? Will I overtake them? Pursue them in answer. You will certainly overtake them and succeed. In the rescue, hallelujah. Before David came, uh, they raised the, 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 the land, uh, they raised the land, uh, they took everything, including his wife. Anyone, if it is today, with no time to be called before I go seek God. Uh, that is what most people, the most people say these days. Uh, ah, God is too patient, uh, he go take time before God answer, he go take time. Let me do it in my way now. Uh, and doing it in your way, you will make a big, a big mistake uh, because you wait and uh, you wait uh, and do it in God's way. It's better you do it in your way than miss it. Many people today they are saying, uh, ah, because uh, it go to the, you know, the, you know, they quit the art, it took the, it took the, it took the, the take time. Let me do it. Uh. The Bible says, uh, in, in a choir, I'll pronounce it, they carry it. Why? No, say, before I go and choir God, uh, the things go, don't go, go, don't go, 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 and do it in the way of God. I will stop here today. Now, by the grace of God, I will start. I will continue from here next week, Thursday. Thursday. Allow God to guide you in this year that you just begin. And when you allow God to guide you, you're going to experience the faithfulness of God. Or where you're going to testify that this year has been your best year ever before. Only if you allow God to guide your movement, your statement, your plans, your win, everything concerns you. How your home. Let God guide you. And you have a testimony to give. May the Lord bless his soul into our heart in Jesus' name. May the Lord God give us a grace, the grace to wait upon God to be patient, so that at the end we have testimony to give. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen.